Oh, hello there, yes. Well, I'll see if I can manage to make this video without coughing my guts out. <laughs> Third attempt so far, we'll see. I'm going to uh, begin that great game today of trying to get a doctor's appointment for my whooping cough, and I'll have to jump through a hell of a lot of hurdles before anyone actually accepts that I have whooping cough. Joy. Anyway, yes, today I was thinking of me camera angles. I'll need to get... um me camera angles sorted out for me desk and me backdrop and I need my bunting done as well if I can manage to put it up without the cat interfering with it because there's no point in being a wonky patriot with you have a wonky backdrop of patriotism indeed and today we come on talking of good stout patriots we come on to the Daily Mail who are reporting a surge in right-wing extremism amongst young people which of course being the Daily Mail they put down to um, the Covid lockdown of course they do of course they do it couldn't be anything else could it but I have said here many times in the past that there is a very common link between young people building bombs at home right-wing uh, media as a whole, one might say, if we put it as broadly as that, and a diagnosis or otherwise of autism. Because the two people that the Daily Mail highlights in terms of threatening bomb-style behaviour are basically both autistic. One of them definitely diagnosed, the other one refused to kill surprise often a sign of autism. Trust me, I've done that job for 20 years. I know the way that these things work. And what is it about autism that attracts people to extreme right-wing views? Well, it provides you with binary certainty. There are good people and there are bad people. Yes, I know, it sounds a bit like the British media, doesn't it? And indeed it is. The British media operates on that kind of basis. So much easier to blame all of your problems on brown people, trans people, gay people, women, communists, Jews, homosexuals, you name it. All the usual suspects, of course it is. And oddly, we have um, an entire political class who make it their job to stir up those kind of things, and nobody pushes back. Odd that. Once again, I will raise the spectre of Melanie Phillips, who Andreas Brevik, along with Jeremy Clarkson, Jeremy Clarkson wasn't quoting him, but Andres Brevik, our famous Norwegian killer of 80 children, who wasn't radicalised due to, due to lockdown, but was radicalised by what he saw online, and quoted mainstream British commentators. As far as I'm aware, nobody has ever tackled Melanie Phillips about that, and yet she's still there commentating quite happily, no doubt telling us how important it would be to raise certain populations on the Mediterranean Sea. Perfectly reasonable. No editor ever strikes this stuff down. And it's presented to us every day, these binary, nice, safe solutions. If only we get rid of the brown people. How do we get rid of the brown people? Doesn't really matter. Although, it'll probably involve violence. Now, we're not suggesting you go out and make a bomb, but, you know, if you tend to see the world in very, very simplistic, nice, black and white ways, there's a good chance you will do. And you'll end up in court as well. Hopefully, before you bomb a synagogue. I said it before, say it again. People that go into synagogues with guns are never members of the Labour Party. And of course, underneath the male article. <coughs> <coughs> oh, there you are. Underneath the male article, oh, there are loads of comments with people denying that if, if, if thinking like this makes you right wing, then I am. Well, yes, you are, mate, because there's that enormously strong streak of uh, home counties fascists out there. Boomers like me, who aren't like me, obviously, because they're extremely right wing. People who box themselves into a corner and, and now defend themselves on the basis that it's fine to feel that certain of your fellow citizens should go east because, after all, they are the problem, not you. Anyway, I only cough once then, that was a good one. Now, do have a lovely day. I'll try and get an appointment. Oh, the joys, the joys, the joys.